passes to New Orleans for the Sugar Bowl. There's Jim Tressel, number two in the BCS, 100th meeting of the storied robbery. Jack it up. This is going to be the biggest event in the world, at, you know, at this time. And, and it's not going to be 112,000 people anywhere else except in Ann Arbor. Chris can't count. 112,118 packed the big house. Most ever for a college game. Watch. Left leg of Michigan's Jason Avent. That's not good. And clearly he's emotional as he leaves because his day is over. Still in the first, Braylon Edwards, Chris Gamble. There's some bitterness there between number one and number seven. Goodness. Scoreless Michigan third and goal. Steve Breston. This guy had 37 touchdowns as a high school quarterback. How about carrying one in there in the college game? 7-0 Wolverines, and John Navarre, 0-2 as a starter against the Bucks. Should have been picked, dropped, incomplete. It's all right, gives him another chance, and this time Braylon Edwards, number one's got it. He ain't going to punch Chris Gamble. He's got an appointment in the end zone. A sports center, top 10 nominee, 14-0 Michigan Navarre, 278 yards passing and two touchdowns. Next Wolverine drive, yeah, thanks, I'll have another. 23 yards to Edwards, seven catches, 130 yards total, goes over 1,000 for the second straight season. Number eight's going off. And he is pumped. Now Chris Perry. He's taking it to the hot tub. 30 yards for the score. 28 to 7. Turn around. Give him eyes. National championship zone down 28-7. Start to grind. Buckeyes mounting the comeback. Craig Krenzel. Santonio Holmes has got it. That's six points. His second TD. Buckeyes trailing at 28-14. Your next Buckeye drive, Krenzel. That's going to hurt. Down he goes. It could be a shoulder. He's going to leave the game with the injury. He would return bits and pieces later. Turn it over to Scott McMullen in the fourth. His team down by 14. Holmes, he's open. Wide open. Secondary kind of lost him. They corral him down there at the two-yard line. That's not a fumble. Lydell Ross, touchdown 28-21. And perhaps we have some nervous folks there in maize and blue later in the fourth. Third and four in their own 46. Navarre, Tyler, Ecker, that's 30 yards. First catch of the game for Ecker is effective. Big third down conversion, got a new set of downs. And then Chris Perry one more time, 154 yards, 15 of them here. Michigan up 35-21. Chris Perry was absolutely sensational. Uh, Perry's a first-team All-American. And in my judgment, there's not a better back in this nation than Chris Perry. Later in the fourth, Buckeyes still down two TDs. McMullen's pass intercepted by Ernest Shazer. Jim Tressel finally going to lose one to Michigan. Perhaps the Rose Bowl, perhaps better if things don't shake out their way. Invite you to the Rose Bowl. A lot would have to happen to go for Sugar. Probably the Rose Bowl, good for them. Lloyd Carr, the man who rose to the occasion. He is an unbelievable human being. And the way he has handled all of the things that were said about him and written about him, I can't tell you how much I admire him. And uh, I've had some great quarterbacks here. I mean, great ones. And uh, John Navarre is one of them. He's one of them. And I don't want to keep going on it because I'm afraid I might say something I would regret. We came into this game um, you know, knowing one thing for sure, that if we, we would have beat Michigan, we, we would have been, uh, you know, Big Ten champs. They beat us, they're Big Ten champs, and that's, uh, I think that's the, the thing that hurts the most right now. Let's go back and visit more about Navarre. They're struggling in his first two starts against the Bucks. Played like a champion on Saturday, 21 for 32, 278, the two touchdowns. He's equaled Elvis Gerback's school record of 71 career touchdown passes, record his 31st career win at UM. Only Rick Leach has more with 38. Chris Fowler and his team now with more from Ann Arbor.